I would like to call upon honorary degree recipient Ms. Diane Guerrero and Dr. Lucia Ortiz. Doc <laughs> Dr. Or Dr. Ortiz is a professor of Spanish and the chair of the Department of Humanities, will read the citation in the conferral of the honorary doc doctoral degree. Mr. John Teagan, chairman of the Board of Trustees, will now confer the degree. <laughs> President Hayes, <laughs> here we go. As you know, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts has authorized Regis to confer honorary degrees. Under that authority and the authority of the Board of Trustees, I have the privilege to instruct you to confer the Doctor of Law honoris causa to Diane Guerrero with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Diane, raised in Boston by loving immigrant parents, you were separated from your family and left alone. You show determination and strength as you finish high school at the Boston Arts Academy and entered Regis College in the fall of 2004. You took classes towards a major in political science and studied abroad in London. Before completing your studies, you left Regis and followed your heart to enroll in acting classes and eventually move to New York City to pursue your dreams. You found success with major roles on popular television shows like Superior Donuts and the award-winning series Orange is the New Black <laughs> and Jane the Virgin. But you never lost sight of where you came from or what you value most. Your memoir, In the Country We Love, details your life as a citizen daughter of undocumented parents and your struggles to deal with the consequences of the broken immigration system. In 2015, the White House named you an ambassador for citizenship and naturalization. You are passionate about your work with the Immigrant Legal Resources Center and Mi Familia Vota to educate immigrants about their rights and to ensure they are justly represented. Diane, you stand courageously at the center of one of the most pressing issues of our time. You share your many gifts as an actor, an activist, an author to enrich our nation, an author to enrich our nation. Diane Guerrero, for your exemplary advocacy on behalf of immigrant rights, Regis is pleased to bestow upon you the degree of Doctor of Law honoris causa. Hi. Uh, okay, so I, it's my turn, I guess. Uh, my goodness, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, President Hayes. 
the Regis Board of Trustees, distinguished members of the faculty. Thank you so much. This is such a huge honor for me. Uh, I am honored to be here amongst alumni, such supportive family and friends, and oh yeah, the class of 2018! All right! <laughs> yes, I'm so proud of you, and I'm proud of Regis College. Regis and I, we did a lot together. Regis was my home when I didn't have one, Regis gave me opportunities that I never thought possible. Regis took care of me when I was sick, fed me when I was hungry, and perhaps most of all, Regis instilled in me an attitude of perseverance, a respect for service, and a group of friends that I'll have forever. <laughs> I'll never forget ghost hunting in College Hall. <laughs> My friends made sure I added that. Or pouring frosted flakes on myself while listening to pour some sugar on me. Things got weird. I mean, we were, you know, at, at the time we were in a women's college. What else were we supposed to do but ghost hunt and uh, listen to hair metal? How meaningful that I was asked to speak on the 10th anniversary of my graduating class of 2008. Simpler times back then. Let me take you back. Katy Perry was singing about kissing a girl. Flo Rida was in his prime. Hey. And the class of 2008 was quite excited if maybe a little scared to get out into the real world. That is until the September 2008 crash hit and then no one, new graduates or otherwise, wanted to be out in the real world. Fast forward 10 years, we got a gang of pansexual pop songs, trap music is apparently a thing, and Kanye West is Well, good luck explaining that to your grandparents. But hey, at least the stock market is stable, am I right? <laughs> oh, please rest assured that that's, gonna, that's my only stock market joke today, folks, I promise. So I graduated on the brink of an historical stock market crash. But hey, at least I had a degree from Regis College to tout in this first few job interviews, except I didn't. I didn't have a degree from Regis College because I didn't actually graduate from Regis College. So for those of you actually graduating today, congratulations. You're already starting off better than I did. Really though, uh, we have a few things to talk about today. So heads up, this is the, the uh, message part of the address. So as Ma Pritchett from Glee Club would say, take a swig, honey, of water, of course. That's all we had at Glee Club was water. Um, I want to share the importance of telling our stories, our truths, and in doing so, not shying away from the parts that make us vulnerable, but rather finding strength in embracing it all. I'm talking about the difficult to define, complex gray area, uncomfortable bits, the details that don't fit in the 140 characters or on the bulleted list of descriptors at the bottom of a resume, in other words, the humanness. See, I was 14 years old when I came back from school one day to an empty house. My parents were undocumented and had been deported. The home I had known, the family I loved, was taken out of my life without warning. 
Being separated from my family at a very young age was the first of many challenges. Now, my story is just one of millions that show how much we need to reform our immigration system. But it's a tough issue that inherently affects millions of lives. And it's a question to which apparently no one has the right answer. So in many ways, it's like our broken healthcare system or nuclear non-proliferation or why people continue to support Donald Trump. Thank you. There you go, to that. Let's go to 2018. Like all of us, all of you, I contain multitudes. I am an actor, an author, and an activist. At first, leaving Regis and entering the real world I wasn't sure how to synthesize my many identities into something that could easily be understood. I felt like I needed to, but you don't need to. What we fail to publicly admit to one another is that everyone lives with uncomfortable details that are not easily understood. And while I was waiting for, I suppose, permission to talk openly about what I saw as a massive issue. I saw us getting no closer to answers as long as we were or are unwilling to discuss potential paths forward. But see, I, I was waiting for permission that no one was going to be able to give me. I had to give that to myself. So, I wrote an op-ed and later a book describing in detail my experience with my family division through deportation. And it has changed my life forever, for the better. It does not do any good to remain silent, whether we're talking about ourselves, our immediate community, our community as Americans, or as the class of 2018. We all want a better world. And that means fighting through the discomfort, fighting through the taboos, fighting through the vulnerability and shame, being okay with not having the answers. We are all here because of a community who has believed in us. We got a break. Not everyone gets that. Those treated unequally, the disenfranchised, we must unite to be the community who believes in them. That's what I learned from Regis. And we cannot unite by remaining silent. Never wait. Don't wait to hear yes. Don't wait to hear no. Don't even wait to stop waiting. Don't wait for someone to tell you not to wait. You're practically college graduates, you get it. You must create opportunities for yourself. I'm talking about everything from my Regis discoveries like studying abroad in Europe, expressing myself through the arts, and yes, even going out for lacrosse, even though I was very terrible at it. Because I now know life is about giving yourself opportunities. And whether you fail is not the point. Because failure is essential to success. We're talking about scoring the richest life experiences here. Whether that means you're a tenured professor 
an Olympic athlete, or the most passionate bowler slash beekeeper slash bass player slash botanist. Although if, you know, cool. I'm talking about giving yourself the space to try things you've always wanted to try, but you never imagined. We get in touch with our truth when we are vulnerable enough with ourselves to recognize that we may or may not succeed, and that is okay. Because you are so much more than a single story. You are so much more than a single success or failure. I want to talk about taking some time for yourself every day to be kind to yourself. Give yourself your heart and your body time to just be to be mindful of what's really valuable, meaningful, and worth your time and attention. It's your time and attention that are increasingly in short supply as you grow older and thus should be used with great care. I care deeply where I put my time and attention because it directly impacts my mental well-being. I find that as cheesy as it sounds, if things seem intimidating, I can often write a short list of things to be thankful for. Oh, <laughs> wow, hey, I happen to have them here. Uh, okay, let's see. What am I thankful for? I'm thankful for my Regis family. I'm thankful for my dog, Penny. Naps, snacks, therapy both retail and with a licensed professional. <laughs> By the way, these are all things your family ought to be treating you to as a congratulations after graduating. <laughs> That's right. But seriously, take time for yourself each day and take time to show love to those you love each and every day because it's guaranteed to become a habit that will seriously help you out when you need it the most. In closing, as you go out and prepare for your next adventure, remember that wherever you find yourself, that moment, that experience is just part of your story. It is only part of who you are and what you will achieve. Your unique perspective is invaluable in this fight for a better world. Your voice, your story, and your work can change the course of history. Thank you so much, 2018. Thank you so much, Class of 2000. Thank you so much, Regis College. Thank you.